Today I'm going to show you how to make a box. Um, sometimes you want a box that's that little bit more sturdy. So um, this is an example of one that I made before. Um, slide off the belly band. So I've used stays on on the um, acetate lid. I've made a set of little note cards to go inside. A pen and I've decorated some tea light candles and I wanted to keep them separate so I've put a little divider in here as well um, so I'm going to show you how to make that box now so this particular box is actually going to be for this notepad and the pen that I've um, notepad that I've covered in the stamping up pen um, so first of all what you need to do is to measure the, the length and the width that you're going to need for your box. Now I've already done that, so I've got a 12 by 12 sheet of basic grey cardstock that matches the um, notepad. And the measurements I have, um, the box needs to be 5 inches by 6.5 inches. So for the base I need to cut 10 inches by 11 and a half inches because I want two and a half inches extra on each side. So it's 10 by 11 and a half. So I'll just cut that now. Sorry about that unpleasant sound. Put the excess to one side. So there's my base. Now what you need to do then is to score. So it's not very stable with the board there. Score at half an inch. one and a half inches, two and a half inches, turn and repeat on all four sides. So one and a half, two and a half, half an inch. I just find it easier to turn it and do it like this rather than actually measuring along to the other side. So. OK, so now we're all scored, um, we do need to get rid of some of the excess cardstock. So I'm going to take my scissors and we're going to cut out this part here all the way around. Now I've cut too much there, but because this is going to be our flap that folds in, I can do that and that will be fine. So I'll actually do it the same way on this side. So cut all the way on the one. Then just to the second score line. side just a second score line to the third score line that was a convoluted way of doing it don't know why I did it like that never mind we still get the same result at the end, so 
I shan't worry too much. Now with this box, these the flaps that are going to fold in are actually going to be folded in between these areas here. So just to, um, or these areas here, so just to make it easier for them to fold in, I'm just going to cut like that on each one. Also, with these areas here and here folding into the middle, I'm just going to put a slight V on each of those and it just makes it that little bit neater and tighter when you come to assemble the box. So a very slight V. slight V. Any problem is it's so slight I can't remember where I started. No, I'm fine. One. One. And I hope this works because I've only got one sheet of basic grey 12 by 12 cardstock. So if I go wrong I have to use something that doesn't actually match the notepad which would be a real shame because the great thing about stamping up products is that everything matches. Now what I'm going to do is get my bone folder and fold all my score lines. Now that one there is going to fold out so I'm going to do it like that. Like that. So I'm going to fold that one first Fold that one out and then fold along there. Now everything's scored, you need to get some sticky strip and put that along each of the edges. So what I'm going to do is This stuff is super sticky, so I was really lucky to be able to reposition that piece. And the last one. Like so. And the other thing I'm going to need is my Tombow. Which unfortunately... I didn't get out. So, I'm going to start assembling the box. 
I'm just going to put a little bit of Tombow on there and another little bit on there. I'm going to take off the first piece of sticky strip. Then I'm going to bring it in I don't know if you can see that, it's just really tight into the bottom there and you just want to make sure that these ends are pushed tight into the side there. And I'm going to do the same, fold this one down. Tombow on each of those ends. You don't need a great deal because it is actually really sort of held in by the thing. Then I'm going to take off the last piece of the sticky strip and fold that down, sticking those little flaps in just there. And there we have a really solid box. I'm just going to hold those edges in until that Tombow dries a little bit. And you can see how rigid that box is. It's really, really strong. So the next step is to um, decorate the lid. Now with this one, um, the lid size needs to be um, seven by eight and a half because you only need an inch to overlap each side. So just trim that, I'll trim that down here this time so I don't have to move the board on the table. Okay, so uh, to decorate it, I'm going to use stays on. Now, stays on uh, white does dry out very quickly so what I tend to do is rather than use the whole refill all in one go I just ink up a little bit of my pad and use the little spreader that comes with it how we do there. I may need to uh, add some more ink. And I'm using the stamp from Mixed Bunch and I'm just going to stamp randomly. on there. I should have done this actually before I started the box because the stays on is going to take a few minutes to dry but um, that's not a problem. I can just keep talking to you. Now if you're using stays on um, it does stay on as it its name suggests. Um, so to clean your stamp you need the stays on cleaner then you just like so take it off on a piece of tissue. I've managed to get it mucky all the way around the edge there. Oh. I'm not precious about my stamps, but I do like to keep them nice. I don't mind the odd bit of 
ink on the wood. There you go. And actually, while that's drying, I'll show you how to make one of those dividers. So if you see the pen and things go in, but it sort of moves around. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to check the measurement of the notepad wherever my ruler's gone. Hold on a second. So my notepad is four inches. So I'm going to do it actually um, probably just a little over four inches. And I'm just going to use the off cut from the piece of 12 by 12. So we know that the box is five inches wide and we know that we want um, the divider um, to stick up at just after four inches. So I'm going to get my scoreboard. I'll just rest it on the edge here. And so I'm going to score at 4.1, then at one inch from there, a further one inch from there, and then to the edge is going to be cut at seven inches. So I've scored that just because it's easiest for me to know where to cut. So there we go. And all we need to do now is to fold it like so, fold it back against itself, fold that up, tiny bit of Tombow, just to hold it together, and that will slot into the box, a little bit on the large side, so I'll just take a tiny bit off there, there we go, perfect, and then the notepad will sit just in there, and the pen in there, and it stops it, the notepad from rattling around. So that's just a little tip for you on uh, doing a divider. So let's go back and see if our stazons dry. Still a little bit tacky. I'm just going to help it along with the heat gun. So just on the low setting. You mustn't have it on the high setting when you're using the heat gun because it will distort the plastic. Yep, I think that's fine. So now what we need to do is to um, score the lid. And for that you need your shim. Now if you um, look at one of my earlier posts I do um, put a link on to how to make a shim. So here's my shim and what that does is it just puts a little um, bit of difference in where you're scoring which means that the actual lid is very slightly larger than the box which means it will fit beautifully. So. I'm going to score it upside down, so i have just butt it up to the shim and I'm going to score it at one inch. Now, I don't know why I'm using that, where's my scoring tool, there we go, that's better. So score at one inch and turn, score at one inch. And turn. 
go one inch. Turn. And finally, the last one. So now we've scored the acetate, we just want to cut each one It is actually easier to see where to cut where I haven't stamped And then I'm just going to trim off little bits of excess. Just because you don't need that much for your lid. Good old sticky strip again. I probably ought to score uh, to fold these before I stick the sticky strip on. So I'll just score that. see how the acetate holds its shape really well when it's been scored and folded. Right, so the other three sides with the sticky strip. The only trouble with the sticky strip is you can't do what you do with normal sellotape and just turn a corner over to find the end. But because it is quite a thick backing tape on the sticky strip, you can usually just feel it with the tip of your finger anyway. There we go. And the last step is to just Peel off the backing. Ooh. Stuck to me. Line it up with stick. This one. Line it up with stick. And the last one. And stick. And there you have your lid. Then take your box, put your lid on. And there we go. A fantastic present uh, that anyone would absolutely love. And if you do want to decorate it further, like I have on my other one. You can make a belly band that colour coordinates or you could tie on a ribbon. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I hope you like that style of box. Um, I just love them because they are so, so strong. And um, I'll be back again with another video soon.